Dr. Green Thumb Show. What we're, is really good? We, we are back here with our special guest, Stevie Stone, over uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. okay. we're, all, we're all a little stone here. Currently on tour. Currently on tour. First time no here. You know what I'm saying? It feels good. Dab City, right? Hey. Yeah, there you go. Dab, he caught our real City, quick. Bitch. Dab City. Hey. People catch on real quick to this uh, Cali lifestyle. What brings you all the way from uh, Missouri out here, man? man we're mean, on tour right now, so we just moving. You're not recording no videos on the road? I know a lot of artists like to do that stuff, you know? like We haven't yet, you know what I'm saying? We're still early, only like 13 shows in. So nice. 20 something more to go, so who knows what happens. There you go. That's a hustle and, right there. LA's a good spot to do it, man. You know? I know, man. I know. It, it, don't, it don't sleep here, man. Uh, you got a show going on tonight, right? Am I, I do. Los Globos, Sunset. I've actually been to that venue. It pops up. Los Globos is popping. Yeah. yeah, it does. This be my second time there. We came uh, a couple of years ago with Chris Calico, May Day, SOS Tour. So this is my first time out here solo. Nice, man. Now, I had a question about your uh, your album title. Explain. Malta Ben. Malta Ben. Explain that. Like, where does it come Wait, from? Wait, say it slowly, man. What is it? Malta Ben. Malta, Malta ben. Blend. Okay. No, Bend. Like, Malta Bend. Bend. Yeah, ben. See, I had to know because the people in the chat room, you know, they might not hear it so well, you know. <laughs> no doubt. might be saying it like Malta Blend. No, it's not Malta a Blend. That sounds like a yeah, drink. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, man. It sounds like uh, something that would whip up in the espresso. That's what I thought if you wouldn't expe explain it. Explain it, though. Malta Blend. some of that ben. Malta Blend. Malta Blend on, on the real. It's, uh, it's a little bitty segregated town in Missouri that my mother and my father grew up in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... If it wasn't for this little bitty segregated town, there wouldn't be no me. So what perfect coming from the heart right there, you know? Right. Go back to the root. Real deep. Yeah, Malta, Malta Ben. Shout out to Malta Ben. I wonder All if, they, I wonder if they make coffee there. Man, they <laughs> I went there for the <laughs> like, first time to actually do the photo shoot, and it was like fields and no grocery stores. There's no gas. Real stations. country. Like really, really country. He said fields and more fields and more fields. Yeah, cows. And Some trees like here and there, you know. But nah, there ain't nothing there. Oh Damn, shit. Man, okay. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would feel pretty it. disconnected putting it, being placed in a mm. scenario like that. But that, that's just probably because I come from the city. You know? Right. I'm a country boy, so. And so you know, you're also part of the Strange Music Camp. Yeah. Working with Tech Nine, how have you grown as an artist? Like just being around him or even touring oh, with him. Tremendously, like uh, the work ethic. The Staying busy, strategizing, you know what I mean? It's just like everything all up in the cluster of blueprint on how it goes. You know right. what I'm saying? We stay busy. We stay doing projects. We stay on the road. Mm. We stay right, and we stay perfecting the craft. You know stay what I'm consistent. saying? Stay consistent. Stay consistent. You stay growing. Stay getting better. Y'all are some hard MCs, especially we're uh, performing and all that. How has yeah. uh, been the performances been going on on this tour so far? Good, 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 real good. We up here making it through. You did know what I'm saying? Like I said, mm -hmm. we're only like 12, 13 in. We got like 20-something more. Nice. I believe a few more has been added. Yeah, we still add nice. days, so we up. just going, man. Okay, now, I got a question in regards to, you know, you working with, you know, like an OG like Tech 9 and, Yeah. You know what I mean? He obviously puts you up on a lot of game, you know, the same way, you know, the Green Thumb puts us here in a lot of game. Yeah. Now I imagine in regards to stage presence, he he's a very energetic individual. Theatrical. Like, does does he automatically scout? Like I would I would think like if I I haven't been to any of your shows, so like I would imagine they if you're coming crazy. from there, you would just energy yeah. would just get you wild. You already know. To be does on he just strength, look for that? Like he looked. It, it's more to it. Just you have to have a stage show to be Man. on strange music. It's like. Everybody there takes pride in the stage show. It's mm. about entertaining. It's about giving the people a treat and making sure they want to come back to see you. You dig know what right. I'm saying? So that is definitely a, a must have, as well as being a, a good person and a dope lyricist and, and you know, do what you do. You feel I, me? I bet y'all rehearsals probably be really turned up and shit. You probably have to you probably give like a pre show and shit, huh? Because you don't. Well, I mean, we rehearse different, but I know our, my rehearsals be turned up in him and Chris mm. Calico and those rehearsals be oh, turned up. Oh, yeah. Mayday's rehearsals <laughs> be turned up. Everybody's rehearsals, I'm pretty sure, be turned up, though. That's yeah. But suck. that's the best way to do it, though, I would imagine. You know what I mean? You got to, like, set the mood. That's what you're preparing yourself for. So you already, yeah. it's like preparing for a fight. You come in there already, like, you're like, yo, I'm feeling like a winner already. Yeah, you got to practice how you play. Gotta get real pumped up. Yep. Practice yeah, how you play. Any, uh, any crazy performances so far on this tour? Like, any, like... Crazy groupie stories or some, you know, shit. Uh, crazy stories, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a strange music, and I go on tour with Tech Nine, so crazy, you know. <laughs> crazy. I was like, to say the a lot least. of titties yeah, out there. There's, there's nothing really too much that's that much crazy for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I will tell you a story. I've actually told it before. The craziest thing I, that happened, I think we was like in Albuquerque or 
or something like that. Albuquerque, you know, New Mexico. Okay. Yeah, and you know Tech has a uh, joint when it's the titty song, so everybody put, the girls pull out their titties and everything. Titties, so that one. There's one female was on stage, and this girl started spurting milk Whoa! out of her titties. <laughs> God that damn. Was the, that was the craziest thing that I've ever seen. Did you get showered by the milk? No, I was way, way back. <laughs> Did in you the crowd. Uh, pull out a shot glass? Fuck all that. My mouth just opened up like this. Hey. Holy shit, dude. Dude, Holy wanted, shit. And see, the crowd at first, the crowd didn't even realize. We're the crowd it. was like this. Yeah. And then they was like, oh. 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 It, it was crazy. Yeah, that's a bit discouraging, you know? God yeah. damn. They the, get down. I hear the girl's nickname is Squirt now. Hey. <laughs> that, that suits her. Shit. How long ago was this? Uh, this was like the last two I did with him, I believe, um, half ago. Year and a okay, half, so no she doubt. probably follows you on Instagram, you know? Hollering oh, at she, you. She's heard the story. I, she knows what I'm talking God about. Damn. <laughs> this ain't my first time I told it, you know what I'm saying? But she, she ain't got no. No qualms with it. She did it. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Man, she she going to be sliding up in your DM, sending you squirt videos. Hey. Man, Paul. Goes down in seconds. the DM. <laughs> Best 15 down. seconds ever. Now, um, I know it's on your album right now. You working with um, Mystical. Yes. Uh, Kevin Gates. Yes. Is there any other um, artist that you would particularly want to work with? Like a wish list. Like, yeah. Top knock three. it off your bucket list, all that. Man. I love so much music, and there's so many great artists out here. So do a top three or top five. I can't do that. Just off this, the top, though, you got to manifest it. Anything. How about this? I was trying to get Ty Dolla Sign on this last album. Oh, okay. Album. Oh, that was that Ty was Dolla one. Um, popping right now. That was one guy that I was trying to go for. That we didn't, we didn't get to make happen at the time. Mm. Uh, Twister. I was trying to go oh, for yeah, Twister, Twister on the album. Oh, geez. Another sure, thing. Uh, it was uh, just about timing. And then Devin the Dude. I wanted something hey, with Devin nice. the Dude. You know what I mean? That's Them were the up. three guys that I really wanted on this album that I wasn't able to get on the album. So, what about production wise? Anything production? Production, wise? man. I mean, my production is beast. I'm mm -hmm. still, I'm still looking for, always looking. But I, I worked with um, Strange Music uh, in-house producer Seven, and he's incredible. Seven, okay. He you know does, what? He does all the tech stuff. You know. Would what I'm you, would you say sometimes? I mean, you know, as an artist, what, what would you prefer? Like. Working with somebody that's in house, or because I would feel like my personal opinion when you work with somebody that's in house, they know you, they know how to, cr they know how to critique you, they know how to give you motivation, you know, they they know you overall, so they know what kind of artist you are. And like sometimes when you step out of the field and you go to like a different producer, like it's a whole different feel because some producers is very like, you know, simple, and some producers are very like critical. You mm -hmm. know, I think it's your approach too, how you come at the producer, like. What me and Seven did, we did something I never did. I got down there and we talked for like an hour before we even start doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So we got on the same wavelength. That's what's And I up. think that that's important. Like if you right. even even working with a new producer, getting together and getting on the same wavelength so they know where you're coming from and what you're really trying to portray. And that's what a producer is. They're, uh, it's like you're painting pictures. You dig yep. what I'm saying? Like the artist Creating and a the story. producer. You know what I mean? So once you get to do that, Beautiful paintings come there out. There you go. A vision. Now, um, Believe that. on a whole nother note, man, I always got to ask this whenever I get the opportunity, especially if, like, the artists smoke. What do you guys smoke out in Missouri, man? I mean, you know what I mean? Because, like, obviously you coming out and here to L.A., too. You, you guys, you got you get a little bit of flavors. Is there just, like, a specific weed flavor? Do you dab or? Man, I told you, I, me and you <laughs> talked about this dab. I dabbed a couple times and every single time. The last time I did, I coughed for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> And that I will happen. And I haven't dabbed since. Dabbed ever since? Okay. I haven't you, dabbed since. You need a flavor dab. I, I, I'll tell you what those are in after, after the show. But God you know what I'm damn. saying? We just smoke. I just smoke a little bit and drink a little bit. You know what I mean? As far as... uh, Not certain... No no certain flavor. You just prefer... I like love a caviar gold. Hey, caviar gold. Caviar gold. Okay. No doubt. Caviar gold. Right. You fucks with the gold. It's us, yes. No I'm doubt. No doubt. Right now, sure. Oh, there you go. Hey. You do. You, you fucks with the you fucks with the he gold. He's a caviar gold. Caviar gold. You know what I'm saying? There you Good go. Shit. That heavy stuff. Now, um, you got any, uh, so where, where can they follow you on social media, man? Like, if they wanted to keep in touch with you. Man, um, you know, Twitter, Stevie Stone 09. Um, right Instagram, Stevie Stone. Facebook, Stevie Stone. StevieStone.com. I find out there ain't too many Stevie Stones, so if you pull up Stevie Stone, I was going to say, you got, the, you got the dibs on all the names, yeah, right? Man. <laughs> it's a unique name. Shit. Yeah. Sometimes people get like names after like electrical companies and they don't even know it, and then like shit gets taken, and then you're like, damn, this shit got like a million hashtags. Well, see, the thing God about damn. it is like Stone was a nickname for me since I was young. There you go. And then like um, my when I was younger, my 
My real name is Steven, but my sister, my stepsister's name used to call me Stevie, and I hated it. <laughs> now you embrace it. So now, but when I got, you know what I'm saying, it's like I took something that I hate and my nickname, and I put it together. There you you go. go from Stevie Stone to Stevie Stoned. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Stoner, Stoner. Two, two little, two, two different alter egos. That's what's up. Alter ego was animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey man, well thank you for joining yeah, us well, today, man. man. Pleasure to be here, bro. It's been real. Thank you for Glad coming. You to came Dr. through. Yes. Make sure you go uh, cop that Malta Ben album. Some yes. real fire right there, man. Yes.